What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic, and we're back with probably the most requested thing I've had recently in the comments, and that is of course combining two mods, and that is the Electromagnetic mod and the Wings mod, and a lot of people have been asking in the comments, I've been doing a lot of different planes recently, and of course I did those magnet engines a while ago, and a lot of people were asking, hey Khan, you need to take a magnet engine and use it with the Wings mod to make a magnet powered propeller plane. So at first I wanted to check out the Wings mod and see how the new propeller pieces were so originally in the wings mod we only had a few pieces but now you can see we've sort of expanded the number of pieces there are there's the attachment connector pieces like i was saying before would be awesome to have in the mod glad that got added it's fantastic but then we've also got these pieces that start at default angles for example here are the cardboard versions and here are the regular versions now you've got 45 degrees we've got 30 degrees and we've got 15 degrees so if we place them down you can see as we put them down, they appear at different angles, right? So we've got steep angles, and I think I put two of the same one. Did I? Did I? Maybe I did. I don't know if I did. Regardless, there are different angles, and this allows us to make propellers without having to use controllers, because the controllers, sometimes the bearing pulls apart when you start to spin the propeller too fast. This way, the propellers won't like pull off the initial piece. So you can see here, we've got all three different here. We've got a 45 degree one here, 30 degree one here, and a 15 degree one here at the same speed and we'll see which one is the most effective as a propeller and it's very very obvious to see which one it is as we turn them on you see the 45 degree and then the 30 degree and the 50 degree doesn't even get enough lift and if we flip this back and we increase the speed just to make sure it's not just some weird glitch even at higher speeds you can see here if we crank the speed up to max it's still the 45 then the 30 and the 15 still doesn't even get off the ground i mean i don't understand how you're supposed to use the 15 degree, is it spinning backwards? No, it's spinning the right way. I just don't understand how you're supposed to use the 15 degree for propellers. So regardless, I said, you know what? The 45 degree, obviously what we're gonna use to make these propellers, everything else is useless. And so I decided, you know what? Let's make twin magnet engine propellers and see what happens. Now, of course, there's no wings on this. It's not gonna actually fly or anything. And I thought, let's see how much power we can get out of twin magnet engines with propellers. I made two custom magnet engines hooked up to two uh, switches really simple stuff again magnet engines where the outside magnets are controlled by the sensors and the inside magnets you just constantly turn on so as soon as you turn on those inside magnets the outside magnets will kind of repel them this one you can see is going to spin this way and this one of course is going to spin the opposite direction just to sort of counteract any spinning forces that'll happen and uh, for some reason this seat is backwards but that's fine you see if we turn this on a little bit of a little bit of glitchiness back and forth and i think this is because of the magnet mob with the amount of power that the magnets put out but you can see it does move forward but it does have that sort of bouncing effect it's not really not really that good and i think it's because you know there's there's too much uh there's there's not enough weight on the magnets and there's too much force being exerted so you can see we can we can even try and make this a little bit better and i played around with this a lot trying different sizes of propellers to see if that would make a difference and it really doesn't but if we add some weight to it it helps a little bit with the glitchiness but then of course the magnets can't spin as fast so you know there's that problem but regardless we'll just we'll try this out here you can see and then if we fire this up um still a little bit of sliding back and forth they don't spin as fast but you can see it doesn't have as much bouncing again putting more weight on the magnets kind of makes that better but overall you can see that we are getting a little bit more lag now the the number of scripts that has to run i think to make two magnet engines plus to do all the scripts for the propellers i think it's just too much for the game to handle because it's running all these different scripts all at the same time and uh you can see we're, we're, there's no way we could take off with this it's just not enough speed so i was thinking you know what instead of doing these big big propeller engines what if we make like an engine that has an internal turbine mechanism kind of like a, a you know a turbojet type engine and we've got these two sets of three blades each and two opposite directions you can see there and they'll actually spin on these two magnet motors we've got one on this side and one on this side and that'll spin them in opposite directions so this works a little bit better actually than the than the really big propellers and if we turn this one on you can see there they both start spinning in opposite directions still has a little bit of that swaying back and forth but a lot smoother without the the large size propellers and they do get spinning pretty quick and you can see we do move relatively easily still not going to get lift on this you need a lot of speed to get lift with the propeller with the wing spot i mean you need a lot of speed a lot a lot a lot of speed and this is just not going to give us enough speed so of course when we don't have enough speed just double everything up make it that much bigger 
which is of course what we did way over here. Again, I've been testing you so much to try and make this work. I was trying so hard, guys, to make this work. So this is the double version of that. And of course, we've added wings to this and it has controls. So we've got roll controls here, you can see. Uh, pretty simple stuff. One turns the whole thing on. We've got two and three for pitch on the back there. You can see just on a controller. Uh, four and five for yaw also on the back there as well and then six is the sort of the flaps you can see there it'll just help us take off by flipping all these now you would think that this would work great i mean look at all those magnets go you can see the pulsing in the background it is again as soon as we turn it on the lag just gets ridiculous the amount of script that has to run i think is the problem and so even if we get on the runway here we'll never get enough speed this actually goes like the same speed as the other vehicle and it was driving me bonkers and i don't know why and i think again it comes down to a script limitation the problem of course being the propellers in the wings mod are really just not powerful enough i don't know what it is i don't know why but for some reason the wings themselves feel pretty good for the size they are and the speed you have to get but no matter how hard I try to make a propeller, and maybe I'm just making the propellers wrong or giving them too much speed or something, or maybe it's just a limitation on the scripts themselves and it's a limitation on, you know, the number of scripts that can run at a given time. But I cannot for the life of me make a magnet powered engine that can spin a propeller fast enough to gain enough speed. But of course, I had to say to myself, you know what, we've got to make this work just to prove that it did. So I took that existing one with all the magnets, I stripped out all the magnets, and I put a couple electric engines on it and then wired the electric engines into the switch and had the electric engines spinning and uh, not even set at max, just a few below max. And you know what? This, oh, the electric engines are hooked up to W and S, perfect. This is great because you can see we're already picking up more and more speed already. I mean, again, not a lot. You can see again the lag with the number of scripts that are running, but it is possible using that exact same design just to prove that it's not a limitation on the magnet engine. We can actually do this and then we can press one to lift off and then we just kind of have to pitch up and it is very 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 slow to fly but you can see there with a boatload of wings we are like twitching like crazy again i think there's a huge limit on the number of scripts you can actually have run i don't know what that limit is but it seems to be the limit of six propellers spinning with three sets of or six six 12 12 propeller blades i guess 12 propeller i can't even count 12 propeller blades spinning and uh you know it does allow us to fly a little bit but uh again just not not oh we're gonna die we're gonna okay no we're good we're gonna pull, pull up pull up pull up pull up pull up pull up very very slow fly you can see oh i got it oh boy yeah no perfect good great i know there is the other propeller mod which has you know propellers and different looking uh thrusters basically and it's it's got you know all these different thrusters to make them look like spinning propellers and i know we can use that but I really just wanted to make one a plane that actually used a propeller mod to fly. I know Scrapman made one and he took like 20 propellers or something ridiculous to do it. I'd love to be able to make a single propeller plane using the wing mods that fly. Now, I don't think this is necessarily a problem from the mod maker. I think this is this is more of a problem with the limitation of the scripts within the game engine. I think because even with this plane flying with electric engines, you can see the amount of jittery, the amount of jitteriness, jittery, jitter, jitters, the jitters that happen. You can, but you can see the jitters and you can see the lag. You can actually feel it. And you can see in the frame rate as well. It does drop the more sort of scripted parts we use at the same time. And I honestly think that is the reason why a magnet propeller plane is just not possible. I mean, th there's magnet engines. I've tried so many different ways of connecting magnet engines up to a propeller plane. And even with this exact same plane design, I took this exact same plane and put the magnets on it and it just doesn't work. And even with electric engines, you can see it does not fly quick at all. And it will stall out if we even try to go up very, very slow. Like if we go up like this, it's gonna stall, guaranteed. We're not getting enough force coming off these propellers. And I really would love to hear from you guys how to fix it. I don't know if any of you guys have played around with the propeller mod or maybe the mod maker uh, DOS as boss is watching, but I would love to hear how propellers are supposed to work or am I right? Is it just a, a limitation on the scripts and that's why this isn't working? I was so excited. I tried for so long to make the magnet powered propeller plane. I know all you guys were like, yo, con, make a magnet powered propeller plane. Con, hook up your magnet powered engine into a propeller and make it fly. And I was like, man, I have to make this happen. And I tried doing all sorts of things. I tried spinning them above it like a helicopter. It just wasn't enough force to lift it off. I tried doing, you know, this kind of design with a turbine, still wasn't enough force. And you can see, you know, we can do this if we spin them, but I think the magnets don't fully spin the propellers. I'm not sure. They, it's just, it seems like 
something happens when you put magnets spinning them instead of gas engines spinning them and it just doesn't work. Of course, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this build and uh, any other suggestions for builds that you guys have. I love trying to make your suggestions work. I think they're some of them are completely ridiculous, but it's always fun to try and see how ridiculous we can go. And of course, this is one of those where I'd, I'd love to know if you guys think it is possible or maybe you've downloaded a magnet motor and you've made it possible. I'd love to see someone who has made it work. I, I don't think it's possible just with the way scripts work. But again, I might be completely wrong. Make sure you let me know what you think in the comments down below. And uh, while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time. This plane is so terrible.